In this second section, we will talk about transitioning to IT career or starting IT career from scratch. Specifically, in this video, I will talk about starting IT career as a student. So, anyone can benefit from this video, but my audience and my target in this video is going to be students. Students that are going to high school, college, universities, or any academic place where they are thinking or somebody told them that if you want to become that IT pro or if you want to become that help desk position like entry level position you want to get that job then you need to spend six months or at least get a bachelor's over here or associates over here and after that you will get the job now this is true you will get it because that is the education people are teaching you stuff we know that but it is not required it is not required and I will show you that from a valid source that you do not need any degree academic degree where a lot of people let's say for example you want to become a doctor then it is defined like this is kind of like known to other countries or anywhere else or if in the United States it doesn't matter where you go you need to show some type of certifications that are known to the whole world like this is what you need to do this is a degree that you have you you gotta have the degree to become a doctor in IT positions when you want to become a help desk or a desktop support positions or entry-level positions people have either spent years of years of years of educations and still cannot land the job or landed a job or people who have no education at all or know anything about IT have landed a job and they learned it in few weeks and months and that that's it they are become they are the IT professionals right now so you could be the this person right now you're shocked right now like you know you're going to school somebody told you that look man without this bachelor's degree you really cannot land the IT entry level position like help desk desktop support positions it won't work for you just go there this is what people are asking for so that's not true though now we're not saying that you shouldn't go we're saying you should keep it but there's another way another very quick way to get these jobs so you could be this person right now hmm interesting let's see if this is a scam because all of my life people told me that you know you really need to go to college to get the bachelor's degree and associates and things like that to really land these jobs they're they're paying forty five fifty thousand dollars how is someone getting paid less than that and I just go in there and I become an IT pro and people will stop paying me this money now that's true but let's let's look at the data over here I did not make this data this data is coming from the Bureau of Labor Statistics. This is United States Department of Labor. I did not make this. This is a this is a site that is maintained by the government. So going back to our PowerPoint, you could be still thinking that is it really a scam, or you could be one of those people that can take a practical step and say, okay, let let me Google. Let's just go to Google. BLS.gov is a search, and then go to U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics latest numbers. I'm going to click no thanks over here and here I'll type computer support search it and now I'm going to show you where I uh, got the screenshot so computer and search and this is where you will see the computer support specialist click on that and exactly from here I crop this uh, screen from this area so again this is where I'm getting the information it's a valid source and we need to focus on this section right here where it says work experience in a related occupation none on the job training none and again the other data is something that we will discuss in our future lessons that how to become one work environment all that stuff we will, we will cover that with our real world scenarios at least now you know that the requirements are set to none for education and the training so let's see some of the similar occupations over here I just want to show you something if I click on let's say computer programmer and then do similar occupations just look th look at this uh, screen right here out of all of these titles on the left they're all computer related titles most of them are IS information technology type of positions look at the one that have no bachelor's or associate degree requirement and that is the one that we're talking about computer support specialist now remember when I say this name the title this is like the entry-level 
titles, desktop support technicians, user support technician, help desk support, help desk guys, whatever you want to call it, IT help desk. This is the entry level position where you are technically helping other users in your company, online, remote, anywhere. You are that first line of technical person who will be getting calls and then you will be assigning the calls to the other departments like the other one with a much more higher level skills but all of them requires a degree or some type of education academically and that is what I'm focusing over here to a lot of people they're still confused they're going for some bigger bachelor's degrees and everything like that and at the end they're finding out that I should have I could have I could have landed a job while I'm going to education I am not saying that you should not be going to college or universities or high schools to for bigger bigger education like academic uh, level degrees because you need it as you can see from here what would be your next step you would want to advance right and after that you you will you will want to advance then you have the requirements over here and by going to school you can still land a help desk and desktop level positions and then have your school pay for your education that is something I'm going to discuss later on but that is pretty cool because I've seen so many people they have landed jobs without any formal education in IT and now their companies are paying for their former education so that is pretty cool I love to hear that from a lot of people so going back we are going to get out of this thinking now you could be either a person still thinking it is a scam close this video out and you're done or you could be a person that say you know what this is going somewhere practically I feel like this is this is a really good outcome from this and I'm gonna go and search more and more I'm gonna read more and more about this and you will be not be the first person to think like that and you will not be the first person to find out that there's so many people achieved goals from jobskillshare.org without having any formal education in IT and they have landed jobs they in a big big companies and they have also write testimonials and blogs which I'm going to share later on at this point either you're bored or you are super happy because it is going somewhere you're thinking you're a student and the confusion is going to get cleared of course not in this one video because I need to go to the video where it says transitioning to IT career and then moving on to the next sessions the units that we have and then people have shared information and how people have landed jobs in this uh, platform and how just one place made this whole thing happen because of this in information we are very confident that we're telling you that as a student you do not need to go anywhere else you can start from here and land a job while you're going for your favorite certifications like A+, Network+, Plus, your bachelor's degree, anywhere else that you're studying right now we're not telling you to stop that we're telling you to do it go for it keep it because your resume will look much more healthier when you have that okay so now you're super happy but you're thinking where can I take that next practical step for that we will make another video in section how to apply for jobs with no experience we're specifically talking about IT experience as a student so at one point you will be one of these people on jobskillshare.org on the main page if you scroll down you'll see all the testimonials where you'll see something like that they selected me in my first round and on and on and on you'll see so many testimonials over here and blogs that people are coming here and uh, writing all this information and there's some really cool information where people are sharing that with students like you or anyone who is going to this career and, and basically uh, sharing their experience we want you to be one of these people and that's where you will be continuing your course uh, for the next sessions to find out more information and actually practically start learning thank you and I'll see you in how to apply for jobs with no experience